Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review the second season of Intelligence. And this is a Peacock original series from director Matt Lipsy, and written and created by Nick Muhammad, who also stars in the show, alongside David Schwimmer. David Schwimmer being an NSA agent who teams up with a computer analyst in the UK government communication headquarters to try to take down terrorists and all kinds of fun stuff like that. And this is the second season here, and we find David Schwimmer, Jerry Bernstein, stuck here in the UK. After the first season, you kind of figure out that, like, the U.S. doesn't really want him back. And he's stuck over here, and he has a weird, interesting relationship with Joseph, who is Nick Muhammad's character, who, like, they wind up being married for a short time in terms of some kind of scam and their back and forth is very like homoerotic and having this underlying playing back and forth of like alluding to having some kind of relationship but like not really having a relationship but in many ways how they play off their relationships the two characters it really does feel like a relationship and you know you have uh, Christine Cranfield played by uh, Sylvester Le Tuzel, who, like, in charge of things, and you have a couple of the other characters, like Mary, played by Jane Stannis, who you kind of figure out at the end of the first season that she might have these connections to, like, the Russians, and they play with those, like, I don't know if, like, that storyline feels like it really gets fleshed out as much and it really has a satisfying conclusion to it. But you have all the other characters as well. This is just six episodes and they're like 20, 21 minute episodes. So like this is a very brisk, quick series. And, you know, they have some laughs. Schwimmer and Muhammad have some good chemistry together. And like David Schwimmer, I'm not the hugest fan of, but like I think he does a fine job in this role where he like feels like he is more important than he actually is but kind of turns out to be a bit of an idiot and like there's some fun play with that this show really isn't super original it I feel like they've had satire of like inside government agencies done a lot better like the thick of it like Armando Iannucci but like this show it has a decent amount of laughs it has some silly characters you can enjoy their interactions the workplace humor the government humor, the just general, like, espionage kind of humor, and, like, the playing off of U.S. versus U.K. kind of perspectives, there's some laughs to be had there as well. And I, don't, I really think if it wasn't for Muhammad and, like, Schwimmer, who both do a really fine job at the forefront of this show, along with the strong female supporting cast, because you have, like, Gaina Bayar Saikan, who plays Tuva, who's, like, quiet and intense and has an interesting presence. Elliot Salt, who plays Evelyn, who does a lot of fun work in this show and has popped up in some other things like Normal People and the show Fate. I feel like this show has a decent amount of laughs, not the most unique and original series, but, you know, it'll do its job for what it is and you can have a fun time with it. And now there's six episodes combined for the first two seasons sitting there on Peacock. It's a really easy binge, and you know, have some fun with it. And that's really what intelligence is about. Just have some fun with it, and you know, two strong comedic performances with David Schwimmer and Nick Muhammad at the front of it. But those are my thoughts on the second season of Intelligence. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some TV. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.